This is a short story about uh, how you can simulate uh, a counter or um, slow down a clock with JK, or, uh, JK flip flops. And the JK flip flops are um, running in a code called Logisim, which is free on the web. It's a Java program, so it runs you know, on your dishwasher. So a JK flip flop is uh, you know, a little bit fancier than what we talked about in class. Um, so this is Logisim's documentation page. Um, so it's got a function table that looks like this. Um, and they use the language that uh, when the clock rises, so that is the gate um, or the triggering of the, um, of the flip flop. So when the clock goes from low to high, uh, the state of the flip flop changes. Um, based on the J and the K inputs. There's also a, a toggle flip-flop, a D latch, and a SR flip-flop, right? And these are probably just distinct for historical reasons. Um, so the functionality we care about is that if you want um, the, the bit to be killed, it's okay. Uh, you set that to one and J to zero, and then your data is zero. If you want the data to jump up to one, so you could think of that as a set, you could think of this as a reset, and that's actually what the SR language corresponds to. So J equals 1, K equals 0 is to make the data jump up to high. Uh, to make the data persist and not change, that would be inputs of 0, 0. And you remember that was the store state from our simple NAND latch. And then uh, instead of that state we are to avoid, um, the 1, 1, because it leads to oscillations, the JK uh, has some front-end logic that maps that into a toggle. So if you give 1, 1, then the bit flips to the opposite sign. And so all of this is laid out in the uh, documentation. And so when you get a bunch of JKs and you string them together uh, and you read out from the opposite of Q port, um, so the system clock triggers the first JK, and then the output, um, so the low output, or the opposite of the output, um, is the trigger for the next JK, and the low output is the trigger for the next JK. Uh, and that happens because when this rises to one, this falls to zero, and you want it to toggle when it falls. So at any rate, um, then the, the, the wiring is horrible, I apologize, this one, sets J and K both to one. So all of the flip flops are in the toggle state. And if we enable the simulation, what you see is that it counts up. So that's, um, you see how it counts up? The most significant bit is over here. The least significant bit is over here. Um, and then it actually rolls over nicely. Now, if you want to clear, uh, the JK has some wiring on the bottom to, uh, to number one, enable. So you can lock the flip-flops down so that they're inaccessible with this enable pin. And you can also clear with this pin and preset with this other pin. Um, and so I wired this to the clear bit. So there's some data and I'm just gonna toggle it quickly and that clears all the pins. Right, if I toggle it quickly, it clears all the pins. So that's the story. Um, you can also create shift registers with this. So I'm now adjusting this clock so that it starts at 1, counts up to 10. When the clock hits 11, the clock resets to 1. So let me tell you how that happens. I still have the JK flip-flops set to toggle. I'm still using a system clock. I've used another flip-flop. I can't reset the system clock. It's external. But uh, if I want to count up to 10, I need four bits for a BCD uh, representation. So this is the least significant bit. And uh, right now we're on 9 and then 10. And as soon as it hits 11, it resets immediately to 1 and then 2. So you see the pattern. Uh, so you can watch while I'm talking. So I've got these output bits. And then I've got a detector, right? It, uh, it looks for a code. And the code it looks for is 1, 1, 0, 1. The representation is, uh, this is the number 1, this is the number, um, no, no, no. Yeah, this is the number 1, this is the number 2. 
We don't want number four and we do want number eight. So those numbers in base 10 add up to 11 uh, if we use this binary to base 10 mapping. So when I see the code 11, right, 11 in base 10 from these four bits, this AND gate sends out a true. The true propagates along this wire and then is sends to the asynchronous, so not the synchronized by clock, but the asynchronous um, preset and clear. We need to preset the first flip-flop because we want to start at 1, not 0. And then the other flip-flops, we want to start at 0 and 0 and 0. So I'll let it just count up one more time. There's uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, and you won't see 11 because it resets.